Hi, Nicole here from iPad Calligraphy. I want to show you how you can access your Procreate brushes after you download them from the site on your computer and your iPad. So first of all, when you download to your computer, you'll get this zip file. You want to basically extract the contents by double clicking on it and you'll see it opens a folder. You just then need to put that in um, Dropbox and then just move that file. It, it helps to keep things organized and just maybe create a Procreate folder with all your brushes Basically drop that in there and wait for it to sync. And then we'll move to our iPad next for the next steps. Right, so we're back on the iPad now. Um, the extracted file has uh, synced through Dropbox. So the next step is to go to your Files app and locate where you saved those files. So I've opened up this folder, which um, is an example of the glitter and foil kit. So within this particular um, download, there was a few different zips, one for instructions, cheat sheets, textures, and brushes. So the one we want to demo is just the brushes file. So I'm going to click into there. And now you can see I've got these several files here. These are brush set files. And the difference is they're packaged several brushes together and saved as a set. So in order to open those, I need to just click on it and it will load in my brush library. So that was the confetti file there that we just opened. So if I go back and demo that again, you can see the effects file, click on that, and there's your effects brushes. So they've all been brought in that way. Some files you will find have been packaged with separate brush files. That's slightly differently. In order to do that, you do, do everything we've done up until now, syncing on Dropbox, but rather than opening the file through Files app, you'd need to open it through Procreate. So it, you would create a new set, for example, and then add this plus sign, and then choose the import then locate your file via um, Dropbox and import it that way. So there's just a couple of ways that people package files because brush sets is rather new. That came in after version 4.2, I think, or 4.1, so that you could um, package the, the brushes all together as a brush set file. So that's a big, big help. I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.